shipping soon is a new Metroidvania style game, and that's Asteroid. And this is being published by Songbird Productions. The link will be below where you can pre-order it. And this is an awesome aftermarket game. You know, the Jaguars library was kind of mixed, but the aftermarket games coming out are amazing. Coming from the same developer that did the recent roguelike Kings of Edom. I did a video of that on my channel. You may want to check it out. But this is an amazing game. I've been following the development of this on Atari Age. Important to note that there was some small imperfections with my box that they sent me and Songbird Productions plans on making the box even better. And here it is. Here's the cartridge format of this awesome game. I am a big fan of Metroid games, games like Metroid. And I love when the Atari Jaguar is getting some amazing releases, especially from small development teams. And, you know, I am a big fan of the Game Boy Advance Metroid games, and this one kind of shares some similarities. And so uh, you have a huge world to explore, over a hundred different multi-scrolling rooms, tons of enemies, and various power-ups that you can go around. This game is going to take several hours to beat. I do believe Songbird Productions stated that a speed run you can get through a couple hours but the first time through is going to take several hours and after playing several hours i agree i've got about uh, 25 percent of the way through before showing this video and i don't want to ruin it for people that want to beat it themselves it's got a simple story it's got really cool music really like what they've done here and you know i am a big fan of these 2d exploratory games i have been anticipating the release of this i did pre-order it myself they did send me an advanced copy to share with others hey this is a game you may want to check out i really am a big fan of metroid i've played all the main metroid games and this obviously shares some very close similarities and if you're a fan of those types of games you're going to be right at home here there's save points there's you can save, I do believe, three different games on the cartridge. And there's so much to explore and check out. The map is huge. And I really like that there's different sectors. You have to farm uh, missiles and life from those eggs that I just de destroyed there. And, you know, it's it's got lots of cool different enemies and, and nods to Metroid and other games. So, I, I, I have to tell you right now, you know, the developer putting this together and the team that was behind it, you know, they quickly put this game together. You know, they they were talking about this over a year ago and, and really quickly created this game. And I just, gosh, I love when teams come together and make amazing aftermarket games. There is a lot to like about this game. It's got really cool artwork, definitely a nod to the 16-bit era with graphics, there's, there's tons of things to find in upgrades in this game to explore. Now, like Metroid, it's non-linear. If you haven't played a game like this before, you go around your own style, your own way. And I think speedrunners are really gonna like this game as you know, it's it. there's a lot of different choices in this game. Now, at first when I was playing it, like many other Metroid games, I had to kind of figure out where to go and backtrack but I think there's a lot of fun here. And so you're, you're playing a bounty hunter and you're, you're trying to explore this, this alien world and check out different items and discover different passageways. And as you progress in the game, you get different abilities, which then you're allowed different access to various places that you weren't allowed to before. You know, and it, it, it follows a, a similar progression like a Metroid game but it's its own thing. And so I have to say, for a Atari Jaguar game, it's a welcome addition. You know, I've played a lot of Atari Jaguar homebrews, and I know there's a lot of people out there that may have only heard about the bad games. You know, I cover the good, the bad, and the in-between on my channel. And I have to say, this is one of the better homebrew games or aftermarket games, whatever you want to call it, to hit the Jaguar in a long time. Uh, there's some other ones too coming from Atari Age. I'm really excited about sharing information and sharing those games on my channel as well. But this one is available now. 
And, you know, Songbird Productions, they've been doing Atari Jaguar merchandise and selling games for several decades. And they're uh, a reputable website and company. I've been purchasing personally from them for a long time, going back to the early 2000s. So for people in development, you know, these types of games, especially on a, a probably a shoestring budget, are fairly difficult to make and it's really just amazing what teams can make these days working together. Uh, so uh, a real tip on playing this game, farming life and ammunition such as missiles is a must. You have one life, that's it. And you have to save often, you find a save point, definitely do it. Because you know, you're gonna be doing some backtracking, you don't know when the next save point is. Uh, getting the map icon early on in the game and understanding where to go because this this game is massive Okay, it's huge, but it's not to the point of like overwhelming. It's just a lot of fun And so uh, I've progressed to the point where I've gotten bombs uh, That is definitely you know that is the first quarter of the game and you know the boss fights are pretty cool, too So I just wanted to show you kind of what the some of the areas there's I do believe eight different environments of this huge game with a hundred scrolling rooms and so lots to appreciate here especially if you're a big like 2d exploratory uh, game fan or metroid fan or castlevania fan you're going to be right at home here so i know that the jaguar community has been behind this company that they're behind this release and i it's got my thumbs up for sure because you know i think the Atari Jaguar is a very misunderstood console and it had lots of potential. And I know if there's people out there, where are the like major 3D games? You know, for me, I don't play the Jaguar for those games. I play it just for fun games. And this is one of them that shows what the game console could have done if it given more time. So here's one of the boss fights, not the first boss fight, but early on in the game as you know when you beat bosses they unlock abilities and so this is kind of a strategy for this boss here i'm going to show you just just one boss fight i don't want to ruin the game for people that want to appreciate themselves so i found that the the the, the boss can't go to this ledge here so if you fire diagonally which uh, is a little bit difficult with the original jaguar controller but you can do it and you can, can you can kind of just spam kill this boss and when you beat the boss gives you a bunch of uh, ammo and uh, missiles and life and so this is where you can discover this ability so there you go you got a health storage increase which uh, gives you a better chance of surviving the map as i mentioned before is huge just want to show it here and i just really have appreciated uh, this game as you know i am a big metroid fan so if you're a big metroid fan for sure you're going to love this but maybe you haven't uh, played a lot of metroid games especially the classic metroid games uh some of the my favorite on the game boy advance so metroid fusion and metroid zero mission to be particular and so here it is uh, you, you have lots of different uh, areas some of them are exploratory such as this where you're rolling around and discovering different items and locations and the more you explore you don't have to get everything but it's going to give you a better chance as you progress in this game and fight more difficult bosses getting every missile and and, and increasing your health is a must for you to survive as this game can get pretty challenging um, i highly recommend it to others especially if you have a jaguar uh, the pre-order is at songbird productions and it is $79.99, which is fairly reasonable. You know, Atari Jaguar games are a little bit more expensive to make uh, versus, you know, Super Nintendo or Sega Genesis. And so it's nice that Songbird Productions is supporting this fairly obscure console, but I think people are gonna appreciate what they have done here. So, what do you think? Are you a big Metroid fan? I know I am. I think you're gonna like this. This is definitely, uh, one I recommend to pick up and if you uh, didn't see my other video I did a Kings of, Ed Kings of Edom video on the roguelike That's another game that you can get at Songbird Productions as well as many other Homebrew aftermarket games for the Atari Lynx, Jaguar, they even cover Evercade items there if you're into that So thank you for coming to my channel. If you like what you see consider hitting that like and subscribe button and 
clicking the bell as I'm uploading content every week. I had a lot of fun with this one. This is the Immortal John Hancock. Thank you for watching, and you take care.